We back, baby. We welcome, back. <laughs> welcome back to episode one of season two of the Laura and Becky show. Yeah, thank you so much for coming back. I mean, we've had a break. We're a bit worried that no one's going to come back. So thanks if you have. <laughs> If you have come back, first of all, thank you. Give us a follow, give us a like, give us a subscribe. <laughs> we knew. We literally, before we started doing this, were like, right, it's season two, episode one. <laughs> oh, God. And give us a review as well. Let's get started. So, two weeks off and we are back, baby. Mate, does it feel like longer than two weeks to you? I feel like I've not... I've don't know what buttons to press. I'm a bit like all over the place. I know we came into the studio this morning. We were plugging things in. We were unplugging things. We were twiddling. We're knobs. We were like, what are we doing? It's like when you get out of the habit of doing something, isn't it? Then that like, you go back to doing it. You have to sort of talk yourself through what you're doing again. There was a buzzing noise. I was like, can you hear that? You were like, I can hear that. I, was like, I don't know what it is. I don't know what to do. But we're back. Do you know what? I've missed this. I've missed it. It's like therapy, isn't it? I mean, obviously we've still seen each other pretty much every day. But it's nice coming in here and just talking about stuff that's happened, isn't it? So it? two yeah. weeks has passed. A lot of stuff has happened. First thing that happened was that bloody heat wave. Jesus Christ. <laughs> that was so hot. I thought my chickens were going to were gonna die. I thought they were going to roast. Are they... They were delirious. Oh. You're just running around with their wings out. Like, Jesus Christ, why, why is it so hot? Not knowing what to do. Mate, I was Googling how do you cool a chicken down. And how do you well, cool you, a chicken you down? You can't. You can't. So I was just spraying them with the hose, which they hated. Did you not put them in your paddling pool? No, I can't know. Because they just shit everywhere. Yeah, you don't want that, do but, you? Uh, that, was, that was hot. It was so hot. We were actually meant to have um, our first ever live event, weren't we, on the day of the heat wave. You couldn't make it up, could no. you? You couldn't make it up, but we we decided to cancel it, didn't we? We've postponed it. It is going to happen still, but yeah, it was, it was just too hot to be putting makeup on and getting ready and stuff. Um, but due to the heat wave as well, um, I mean, obviously we're feral at the best of times. We went proper feral, didn't we? I think everyone went feral. I mean, hats off to you. I mean, look... My husband was at work and they've got an air conditioned office. So it was fine. It was a bit like doody doo. But if you, I just sat in my lounge fanning my dog. Yeah. It was so hot. But I, I, I enjoyed it. I'm not going to lie. I enjoyed oh, I it. I don't think I did. But obviously these two weeks, we took them off, didn't we, to kind of um, <laughs> get our business heads on and have some meetings and things and basically try and earn some money from this podcast. Yeah. I mean, you, you kind of, we, had, we, we knew we had to graft. The problem is the heat wave. We were like, <laughs> oh, it's too hot. <laughs> it's too hot. So this is too hot. Well, we didn't do anything, did we? Mate, we did nothing. No. We literally did nothing. And then we started panicking. We were like, bloody hell, we've taken these two weeks <laughs> off and we've done nothing. We haven't earned a penny we yet. We haven't even washed. So then what we did, we kind of went um, the other way <laughs> and we crammed in so much into one day. Didn't right. We? So this day I felt like we were on The Apprentice. Yeah. That's what I felt like. I mean, we even said at one point, should we apply as a couple to The Apprentice? Because <laughs> we think we think we'd be quite good at it. After that day, we were... We were like, we need to, Alan, where's Alan Sugar? Where's his number? Well, first of all, we got up so early. We got up at 5am to start our day, didn't we? And I mean, you know, the people on The Apprentice get up at 5am, yeah, don't they? It, yeah, we got up early um, to exercise yeah. at a class. I was so nervous. <laughs> you nearly so didn't come. so nervous. <laughs> so on the way there, I mean, we'll explain why in a little bit, but when we were on the way to this class, it was a... Uh, 10 past 6, 20 past 6, 20 10 past, past 6, 6 like that. Yeah. We're in the car and I was like, right, how long's the class? And I thought it was 40 minutes. And you went, mate, it's 50 minutes. Yeah. I went, I can't do 50 minutes. I was like, when we go in, you say, oh, we might have to leave early because we've got a we've got a breakfast meeting. The breakfast meeting was at the place where we were doing the class. So yeah. that wouldn't have worked. But I was like, you tell them, you tell them when we get in, we might not be able to last the 50 minutes. Me and Laura have our roles, don't we, in this relationship. So if anything needs to be said to someone, it's Laura, you. Laura tells me to say her in front but she tells me what to say she goes hey this is what you need to say she literally goes right go you do it <laughs> so I get pushed and I, I'm the one who has to like go oh by the way we might need to leave early but we had this plan didn't we and we were serious we thought we couldn't last for 50 minutes in an exercise class so we had this whole story kind of like con concocted is that the right word uh, yeah concocted a story concocted a story that's a good word actually well Sorry, done 
Um, and yeah, because we didn't think we'd be able to last. And we were both pretty nervous. You were more nervous than me. At one point, I didn't think you were going to come in and do the class. Anyway, we did the class. It was bloody brilliant, wasn't it? We lasted you know, the whole 50 minutes. We did. We felt great. We didn't really leave, did we? No. We spent hours there. We did. Um, and I tell you what was so good about it is they mixed it up a bit, didn't they? Yeah. We get bored easily. Our attention span is yeah. not very long, which is why these podcasts are quite short. So we kind of did that. Um, and then we had, how many meetings did we had planned in that day? Was it four, oh, three, four, four, four five? Something yeah. like that. So we just went from meeting to meeting to meeting and every meeting went exceptionally well. Didn't Which we it? weren't expecting, by the way. <laughs> we, I mean, we really weren't expecting no. that, were we? No, we were just like, we'll go and meet them, we'll introduce ourselves, you know, whatever, you know, whatever happens, happens. But it literally was like, deal done, bosh, next one, deal done, bosh, next one. And we were like, what is going on? But <laughs> whenever we left said place, <laughs> we'd walk out and I'd be like, at natural, at natural, don't at scream cool. or shout. You at cool I went, at me. cool. So you were like, oh, we're just walking down this road. And we literally couldn't believe it, could we? And then I looked at you and I went, Becky, are we entrepreneurs? Is that what we're about now? You made me howl when you said that. Because listen, we ain't got a clue what we're doing, have we? We have not. Well, no, we haven't really. We we went into it. You set up a meeting, didn't you? And you knew the guy. Um, Well, you definitely knew what he looked like. And um, every time a man walked in, I was like, is that him? Is this him? Is that him? You're like, no. I was like, is this him? But then we got a fit of giggles because Laura kept saying it then. We couldn't act normal. So then we were like literally wetting ourselves. And then when he did walk in, we looked like a pair of gimps because we were like, oh, 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 hello. Oh, oh. I was trying to guess who it was you and now it's you. Ta-da. I know. So honestly, we're just blagging it, aren't we really? But um, the meetings went really well. We had a really good day. But because we were up so early and had so many meetings, we absolutely exhausted ourselves, didn't we? So we were driving home and at one point, Becky wound the window down and you know when someone winds the window and you think, oh, and I looked at you and you went, you all right? And you went, no, no, I feel physically ill. (laughs) I feel, you went, I feel physically ill. I was like, right, not only mentally challenging this, but also physically. And I was like, if you're going to throw up, you bloody tell me and I'll stop my car. You told me to go in and have a nap. You went, you need a nap, love. Look at you. You look peaky. You need to go in and have a nap. So before our next meeting, I actually went in. I had to have a lie down because the day oh had got better of me. We had to do the quiz. Yeah. The... Oh, yeah. It was that day. Yeah. So you had to have a nap. Yeah. And then... You couldn't nap because our day went so well. You went, mate, I want my adrenaline's going. Yeah, I kept thinking about all the meetings we'd had and like how just, I was just excited by everything. And then I couldn't sleep. But then we were working quite late that night. We were hosting um, a quiz. So then we were up late and then we had a few drinks. And you know when the drink goes to your head a little bit as well? We were the last ones to blooming leave. Yeah, we, were, we, we left um, the batch house. They'd literally turned the lights off. Everyone had gone. You came back from the toilet holding your wine. You went, oh, are you closing? I was like, oh my God. Yeah. Literally, they're like, locking they might the be, door. Yeah. I mean, they, we actually got thrown out of our own pub quiz, didn't we? Essentially, they're like, come on, girls, you need to go. I tell you what, though, when we got to the pub quiz, it was rammed. We walked in, we were like, bloody hell. It was one of those days where we couldn't quite believe what was going on. And it was just adrenaline fueled. And I mean, we had, we had a right laugh, didn't we? It was a good day, wasn't it? It was a good day. You have bad days. You have good days. That day was a good day. That day was a really good day. And we're really excited to say that we've got two sponsors. Two. Oh, my God. <laughs> High five, baby. <laughs> so we're really pleased to say... Thank you. To Box Bar. They are our first sponsor and we are buzzing to have them on board. So this is the early morning um, fitness class that we went to, wasn't it? That we were going to get out of. But thankfully we didn't because it was absolutely brilliant. Yeah, no, I get bored quite quickly when I go to the gym or do any sort of exercise. So what I loved about Box Bar is the class was very chopping and changing. You were doing something new every few minutes and we both raved about it after, didn't we? We were like, this is good because you don't get bored. Yeah, so for the next like four weeks, we're going to go back and try all the different classes, which I can't wait for because the place is amazing. It's like the smell when you go in. 
the smell. Oh. What was the name of the girl that greeted us? I was so terrible. I can't remember her name. She was so nice. She was she? so nice. In fact, they were all really nice. It's a really nice place to go. So we're going to kind of have a bit of a journey over the next four weeks and talk about it at the same time. We are. There's lots more to talk about. Um, but if you haven't tried Box Bar, go and give it a go. We'd never tried it before. I've driven past it loads of times. And I would say it exceeded our expectations. Absolutely. It's boxbar.co.uk if you want to have a look at their website. Uh, we're going to post some stuff on our Instagrams today as well. We'll tag their Instagram. But yeah, definitely check them out because we loved it. Right. Okay. So we had two weeks off, right? Uh, we were apart for a week. We were. Now, we didn't have a big goodbye, did we? I don't think we realised. You know, when we said goodbye, I don't think we actually realised we'd be apart for that long. No, so I was going away for the weekend, then you were going away the week after. Yeah. Yeah. So you got back and I went. Yeah. And we both went camping. What's that all about? <laughs> camping? Us? I mean, look, it suits us because of our feralness. Right? Yes. It's an effort. Yeah. Oh, my God, is that an effort. Packing. I didn't realise what an effort it would be. So I haven't been camping since I was probably a child. Jesus Christ, it's easier going abroad. You have to think of everything, yeah, don't you? Yeah, yeah. We, we take two cars and a roof box. I mean, we've got a shitload of stuff. You've got one of those roof box things. Yeah, I've got... Oh, yeah. Also, as well, always feel a little bit smug when I put a roof box on. You think you're better than other people when you've got a roof box. Well, you're taking camping seriously, aren't you? You're like a yeah. serious camper. Yeah. Um, uh, so it's an effort to pack... Then you've got to drive there. We went to Norfolk. Oof. That's a drive, isn't it? Yeah. That's I, a drive. I only went to the Peaks, love, and that was enough. That was but, half an hour but away. But you think camping is quite like, it's quite, it's, it's feral. At the end of the day, it's a bloody tent that you sleep in, right? Oh, when you're on a campsite, there's still hierarchy, isn't there? Yes. I mean, there, it's bad. There's a bit of snobbery, isn't there? Well, first of all, you've got the smaller tents and the bigger tents, and it's whether you've got a kitchen tent, a toilet tent, or then you go up to a camper van or a caravan, yeah. right? So um, then you've got to find your pitch. When we got there, someone had put a gazebo up on our pitch. We weren't happy. I oh. went and complained. Oh, of course you did. Got a different pitch. <laughs> I was like, I'm not, I'm not having that. <laughs> Found a different pitch. The people on the pitch next to us had parked their car on our pitch. They moved their car but kind of like marked their territory a little bit before we put our tent up. Well, there's politics, isn't there? There's politics involved, which I didn't realise. Can we talk about the small tents, right? So if the weather's a little bit rubbish, right, and you've just got one of those small, like, one-man or two-man tents, what do you do? I was looking at some of them. I was thinking, well, what are they doing in there? You must have to just lie down the whole time. You can't stand up. What are they in doing them. in there? I was in, honestly, at night, I'd be spying on people. Because I was like, what, what is going on Maybe in there? Maybe they're just walkers. A lot of people like take a little tent, walk all day, and then just go and sleep at night. But Maybe. how boring is that? Like, because you want to sit at night. You want to sit, don't you? And like, I don't know, read or like sit by the campfire. Read? Or, did I, you read? I did. It's a good book. Yeah, to be fair, so did I. Yeah, there you go. We both were reading and camping, how we've changed. But I was looking at these little tents that don't have like a seating area. And I thought, what are they doing? Well, the people next to us um, were a bit jealous of our setup. You could tell because we've got, we have got a kitchen tent. We've got a kitchen, right? Um, next day, they went and got a toilet tent. Oh. So uh, it just erupted. we came back from like the beach or somewhere, f- fucking toilet tent next to out next to where they put it on the same side as our tent. Could you hear them going yeah. to the toilet? Oh no! You could hear them unzip it, no! and then we were like, oh my god, yeah, just shitting and pissing next to our tent. But aren't also, there toilets so, in the thing? If you go though? camping, the whole point of camping is getting up at night with a torch yes. and going and having a wee in the toilet block. Yes. If you're that bothered about about weeing and pooing. Then go to a go somewhere else, or yeah. put your toilet at the back of your tent. You absolute cretins! Yeah, that see that's a bit vile. That is, isn't it? Tell you what though, showers are cold, aren't they? I I, br- I try to brave having a shower in the like oh, well two, done. Two cubicle and oh, shower you shower thing. when you're camping, but not when you're in Mallorca. Nah, but listen, I tried it. I'm not going to do it again. Oh. I'm not because it was freezing cold. Lily and I went in together. And we both looked at each other. I thought, nah. I was like, let's get out. This is too much. Hours were warm, but it was like swimming pool. You know, you press the button and it yeah. slowly comes out, and it's like every five seconds. It's like, gee, <laughs> honestly, so annoying. yes, yeah, so annoying. And the floor, you don't want to touch oh, it. Oh, 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 no, Veruca City, horrible. Oh. I tell you what, I did quite enjoy that. Right, so I stayed off social media for the whole weekend that we were coming to <laughs> two whole days. Well. <laughs> Well done. You've well broken done your bad habit. Well done. Two days. I felt really proud of myself. I honestly, I felt like I'd been off it for a lifetime as well. 
But I have to say, I was enjoying the simple pleasures of life, right? So obviously you have to like wash up your stuff, wash up your plates and cups when you're camping, yeah. don't you? I really enjoyed getting it in one of those little baskets, yeah. pootling off to where you do the washing up. Yeah. I literally, every day, I really so enjoyed, enjoyed that. So you enjoyed the washing up? I really did. You were did. barrel of when you're camping. Oh, I read and I enjoy wow. washing up. Wow. And you don't go on social media. I wouldn't be your friend. I'm, I'm a changed I'll be like, woman. i boring old yeah. cow up there washing up <laughs> and reading a book. I did drink. I had wine. Oh, well yeah, done. I did. There was like a little, there was a cute little, um, like a little converted trailer that was converted into like a little bar. Nice. Oh, it was nice, yeah. Nice. And pizza ovens as well. They had them had a pizza and a wine. I mean, you did two nights. I did four. Oh, do you know what? I slept like a baby. Yeah. Slept like a bloody baby. Got I myself well. a new sleeping bag called The Pod. Oh. Oh, it was. Is it good? <laughs> Mate, it was good, What's yeah. It? Also as well, you, you're on your own. There's no, there's no boyfriends or husbands hands, you know, trying to wake you up or anything. Oh, is that was, why you got the I pod? I zipped my pod up. <laughs> I might actually just keep my pod on my bed. <laughs> Wear it around the house. Yeah. He knows when you've got the pod on, yeah. he's, not in, he's not in for a lucky night. Oh, she's wearing the pod. <laughs> it's not happening tonight. <laughs> the Christmas onesie in the pod. He's got no chance. <laughs> okay, so what's going on in the world? We have to talk about what happened yesterday because basically history has been made and by women. <laughs> Yay! Go women! I mean, do you know what, right? Do you know what? People are saying it's not about women and men. It's, well, let's say, men are saying it's not about women and men. It's about football. Nah, it ain't. It ain't. It ain't. It's not. It's about women playing football and winning the Euros. They did amazing, didn't they? Do you know, at one point you forgot you were, I mean, it should just be football. It shouldn't be men's yeah. football. I mean, it, you forgot. They just, it, it was just brilliant. Yeah. But I think we're so used to watching men at a high level, not, aren't we? I'm boring as shit, mate. <laughs> I'm not joking. I watched the World Cup and I watched the Euros. And, yeah. and they were great. The Euros last year was brilliant. But um, I didn't like, I didn't find the women's boring. It didn't seem particularly slower. Obviously it is because women, some women can't run as fast as men, all that shit. But it wasn't like obviously different was yeah. it it was it was so good do you see um i mean i don't know all their names and everything but there was one um, at one point there was like a foul on an england plan she got up and she gave an expletive oh, it was didn't she but every everyone could yeah. see what she was saying by reading her mouth but they go they go for it don't they it's not man people, like they go in for those tackles just the same as the men do but don't roll around and moan as much do they they get straight back although yesterday there was a little bit more there of that i know at one point there was two of them on the floor one from Ger the German yeah. team one from the England team both yeah. of them were like writhing around on the floor uh, two things I loved well two things observations I made number one um when they wear their hair up they have those headbands on yeah they were wearing because of those, the shape of my head that it just it would that how do they stay on those headbands I mean I know the men wear headbands I always mm. think mine would ping off what's his name the one that everyone was going wild for the guy um the fit guy Oh, Jack Gre Grealish. Jack Grealish. He wears one, doesn't he? Um, so, yeah, the kind of the hairstyles I love, they all look bloody banging. Um, secondly, they just kind of, they, they just seem more of a team mm. to me than, than it's just, the whole thing was just like, you just knew they didn't think they were going to lose. And I think that was just so obvious yeah. throughout. They never doubted themselves once. Every goal scored was a banger as well yeah and um, they were very together weren't they they were a proper team on it as well yeah that's the feeling you got even the german team were like you know they were gutted obviously at the left but yeah it was all it was just bloody nice it was nice i felt quite sorry for the german team no, at the I end feel sorry i know for i know i shouldn't the time. but that one who was crying i was like oh god no they win all the they win all the time I did know. you see well we what i showed it you there was a brilliant bit where a sub a German sub ran on with some instructions on paper. She went and showed it to a couple of her teammates and then it got passed around. And then this, this girl playing for England just like read it over this, this girl's <laughs> shoulder. It was brilliant. So good. I loved her brazenness. Yeah. It's like, oh, all oh, right, pass around tactics. I'm going to have a look. I'm going to read, I'm gonna read I mean, that. It was probably in German, I would have thought. Yeah. But like, I, oh, and the amount of people watching, like my sister was there and she said it was just amazing the atmosphere was insane also, i bloody love the fact that oh trinate on before singing and becky hill 
They don't usually do that at the men's. Do you know what? I was um, in a pub watching this, right, with a load of lads, actually, um, and they, they'd muted the TV at this point, so they had music on in the pub, and, oh. I, and I looked up and I was like, who's that? I literally didn't know who was singing, little, so thank you for clearing that up. Yeah, a little mini concert of someone else, I can't remember her name, actually. There's three of them, wasn't there? But I was watching it with um, Mum and Ray, right, oh, Mum yeah. and my stepdad. They did not approve of Becky Hill's outfit. Did they not? A bit no. risque. What's she wearing? <laughs> oh, what's she? I, well, I wouldn't have put her in that. I was like, old oh, stylist Linda in the corner there. <laughs> Got one. What's she wearing that for? I mean, uh, it's just a bit like that. Uh, but my mum's like, come on, kick it. Kick it, just get it in the net. I was just like, mum, Jesus, come on. M- mum's commentary is the absolute best, yeah. isn't it? The best. What I loved as well, press conference afterwards, oh, they stormed in like the Spice Girls, didn't like, they? They reminded me of the Spice Girls. Yeah. Like, getting on the table, yeah. and whipping their tops off, and just basically making making a hullabaloo. There was a brilliant tweet that I put on my Insta and it proper made me giggle. And I don't want to be like, oh, men are better than women and all that shit. But um, this girl, Amy Wright, tweeted saying, men, football's coming home. It's coming home. It is coming. Women, 60 years later, for fuck's sake, I'll get it myself. <laughs> I love oh, I, just, I was like, like that is brilliant. Oh, do you know what, though? Big well done to the ladies. Like, it's just, it's a good day, isn't it? To, to be a woman. Go on, ladies. <laughs> So, earlier on, we were talking about the fact that we grafted for one day in our two-week break. And we've got two sponsors. Yes. And now we are very, very excited about our second sponsor. Because if you're a regular listener to the podcast, you will know that Laura and I love going for oh, a drink together. Oh, yeah. I mean, look, we love our pale rosé. We do. But we also love... A cocktail or two. Oh, don't we just. Now, this is kind of like a perfect fit, really, um, because Rolling Tap Mobile Bars are our second sponsor. Whoop, 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 whoop. I mean, <sighs> mojitos are one of my favourite things. You do love a mojito, don't you? You know, your last meal ever, mm. you know, when you're on death row, mm. um, mojito would be the drink. Would it? Uh, it would. Interesting. Yeah. I do like um, an espresso martini, but I do something different with my espresso martinis. And I, oh, go on. I have an espresso martini with a little shot of Baileys on the side, and I pour the Baileys in. If you've never tried that, do it, because it's amazing. So what Becky and I have been talking about for ages is having a little bit of a barbecue in my garden, and I've wanted a DJ and a mixologist there. Well, rolling tap mobile bars, basically, just come along. The mixologist arrives with everything. Every, you don't have to. You don't have to provide anything. Yeah, you don't have to lift a finger. I mean, this is literally perfect. It's like the gods have answered our prayers, isn't it? They were like, those girls want a mixologist and they need a sponsor for their show. Hello. We'll get these guys in from. So, for example, some of the cocktails they do. I mean, a porn star martini. Yes, tick. Or maybe, um, maybe a watermelon martini or a French martini or an espresso martini, Becky. Nice. Um, gin options. Tom Collins, Singapore Sling, Pina Coladas, if you like, rum, daiquiri. Is mojita. I mean, I love a pina colada. By the, the way, the list is endless. Also, we were checking out their prices earlier, and it's actually really reasonable. Yeah, I mean, we're loving this. This is a bit of us, isn't it? it really uh, is. So, Google Rolling Tap Mobile Bars. Uh, check out their Insta. We're going to be talking a lot more about them over the next four weeks. <laughs> right, time for our mates. <laughs> I've missed these mates. Um, oh, God. Well, I got a little bit drunk on Saturday night, didn't I? Mate, 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 mate. I, no, I you, don't. <laughs> no, you were on form on Saturday night. I don't get drunk very often. No. I get tipsy, but I don't really get drunk that often. I think that's possibly the, the drunkest I've seen you. I was driving, by the way. So I think you seemed worse mm. because I was stone cold sober. <laughs> Oh and God. I didn't expect you. We were actually working, but we are kind of working, weren't we? Yeah. Um, and uh, it started off, obviously, with a pale rosé, okay? Standard. Um, we went to a bar in Sheffield, first of all, and we sat outside. Yeah. So first of all, we went in. Oh, actually, first of all, we went in. Becky obviously tests the bloody rosé. <laughs> It didn't look pale enough. So the woman held the bottle up and I was like, oh, what do you think, Law? I was like, oh, don't look pale enough. So she went, would you like to try? We were like, yeah. So she gave us like a little mini wine glass with a taster in. So that was, I mean, that was great. Rose, it was nice. It wasn't as pale as I'd have liked it, but anyway. Yeah, well, it was quite nice. We went, oh, we're going to sit outside. So we walked outside. It's quite a thin 
terrace, isn't it, we'll call it. Uh, we went to sit on a, a table and the bouncer, it wasn't busy. I want to point this out. It wasn't busy. There was plenty of table availability. The bouncer went, don't sit there, girls. Uh, lots of men walk past this, this table and you might get knocked. So we're a bit like, okay. So we went and sat at a different table, right? It was two. two only two people could sit at the table. There was a little gap. Then there was another table of two and two yeah. people were sat next to us. <laughs> so, so then no, someone joined us later we saw didn't someone they? we knew right and we we're like come on out come on come on you know come outside we're outside so we sat down and uh, they went to get a chair to pull up next to us and the bouncer shouted no it's only a table for two you can't sit there i need to make i need to make like a gangway yeah. so people can walk past right there's no people there no there people to no walk in the gangway people there so anyway Old Hayes opposite. She, you had a, your back to this bouncer. You, yeah. you didn't start mouthing off. You're a bit like, what? Like that's ridiculous. Like, blah, 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 blah. I was just talking to you and the other people about. It. I wasn't being particularly loud. I didn't think. <laughs> Next thing you know, over comes the bouncer, and he went, "All right, love, you got something to say?" <laughs> I was like, "Oh, here we go." Because usually the Hayes has something to say. <laughs> we all know this. <laughs> we all know this. I thought, here we go, here we go. But I saw you look down at your drink and think, oh God, I've got a, I've got a large pale rosy. I don't want to be chucked out. Well, you literally just bought me a drink and I, and it all went in slow motion. I literally looked at my full rose and I thought, I can't have him kick me out now. I've just got a drink. So I was actually very calm. And I just looked at him and I went, no, I haven't got anything to say. But he carried on. But the two people next to us started to join in and they were like, well, look, you know, it's not busy. He would not let it go, would he? At one point, I thought, it, I'm, I'm, I've got five seconds left in me and I'm going to kick off. Because yeah. I had, did I have a soft drink at that point? I think, I think you might have lemonade. done, yeah. But he was, he was been a bit confrontational, he was so wasn't he? rude. It's like, mate, get over yourself. I thought he was going to get me in a headlock and throw me out. I was, I was literally well, ready I, for it. I, there's two things going through my mind. One, I need to video this for the podcast. <laughs> oh, God. But he would have kicked off. And two, I, if he had carried on with you, I, 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 that would have been it. I would have gone. Because yeah. I'm quite quiet with things like this. And then if... if I go. Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, you kept going, no, we've got nothing to say. Nothing, nothing to say. And then he kind of like walked off. But then you started again. You, start, <laughs> you started going, oh, I can't believe he's probably come over. And I just looked at him and I went, stop talking and don't move your head because he's watching the back of your head. <laughs> what is the matter with me? Anyway, that was that. <laughs> and then... <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> then we went to another bar. I'm going to tell this story really quickly. Went to another bar. By this time, I could tell Becky was on it, right? I had the flavour for it, didn't I? We got introduced to someone called Asif, right? I didn't hear what his name so, was, well, though. Well, not, because this guy went, uh, Lauren Becky, this is Asif. Asif, this is Lauren Becky. I'm like, hello, Asif. She goes, all right, Asif. Uh, I'm just going just gonna to go get a drink from the bar. <laughs> Off she trots. He looks at me and she went, he went, did she just call me Asif? <laughs> I went, she did, Asif. She did. I just, so I walked up to you and I went, Becky, his name's Asif. And you went, oh, it's not Asif. I was like, oh, Jesus Christ, no, no, it's not. I couldn't not. hear what he said because the music was quite loud. Because oh, I was a little bit um, squiffy yeah. by this point. I didn't hear what he said. By the time we left this bar, she was, it wasn't squiffy, you were squiffed. Yeah. You, you, I was, you, it was it. I was on one. So I gave a lift to Becky and two other ladies that came with us. Um, <laughs> at one point, we were going down quite a busy street in Sheffield. There was a lot of people around, but it wasn't too bad. You're like, honk your horn. I was like, I don't need to honk my bloody horn. I'm fine. And then you just leant over and you literally just kept honking the horn. <laughs> I don't even remember that. So we got to the bar, oh, did what God. we needed to do. And then at 11 o'clock, I was like, I'm out, I'm going. And you were like, right, hang on. What am I going to do? Am I going to do the right thing and, and come with you? And luckily you did. I, guys, I did the right you thing. You did the right thing. I was well behaved-ish. I had to back out of a private car park at the back of this club, right? And it was tight, wasn't it? It was tight. So our friend Cam had to hold the traffic while I backed out, right? Yeah. Thank you, Cam. You did a very some good job. Some of the traffic, right? some of the people in traffic didn't like it, started honking their horn. <laughs> Before I knew it, Becky <laughs> had wound down the window... <laughs> Got out when literally ha I could just see your ass. That's all I could see. Oi! She was like, Oi! She's reversing out, you twats! Oh, like that. God. I was like, Get back in the car, oh, Becky. God. Honestly, I just drove off with you half hanging out the car. I was like, Becky, get back in the car. We're out. We're up. We're going. Oh. Do you know the worst thing about it, though? What? 
so Cam FaceTimed me the next day and he was going, oh, causing a bit of trouble were you last night? I was like, oh God, you know when you get beer fear, the next thing you're like, oh God, what was I doing? The worst thing was I was having a go at the wrong person. Oh God. Cam goes, it wasn't him who was pooping the horn at you, it was the guy behind him. I was like, oh God. And I dropped you home and you got out, you went, thanks love. I was like, I'm just going to watch you through your front door, okay. You shut the door and I just disappeared. I was like, where is she? Anyway, then you tooted across the road, you turned around in the middle of the road and went, what are you doing? I went, I'm waiting for you to go in your front door. Oh, okay. Bye, love, love you. Bye, bye. Like, blowing me kisses from your front door. I was like, literally was I? just go through your front door. Oh, God. Yeah. I, like I tell you what, you look banging, though. Did I? Yeah, you look absolutely lovely on Saturday night. Mate, thank I'm you. I'm used to you looking feral. Yeah, well, yeah, well you're not used yeah. to this nice, you look fit. Uh, where I've made you look an really, effort. You look fit. Mate, I'll take that. Yeah, thank you. Take that. I, I mean, tell you, you what, are an though. absolute piss artist. I was a liability. <laughs> but you look great. Well, I, I bashed my eye as I went in my door. So when you left me, when you drove off, I then tried to shut my front door, bashed my eye right there. So I've actually got a war wound. Pull yourself together. Who are you? I don't know. Right, we're going to leave it at that today. Uh, We're so pleased to be back. We are. We are loving it. First of August, pinch punch, mate. Pinch punch, first of the month, and we will be back tomorrow. (laughs) 